This is the Winchester SXP Defender. It's a 12 gauge shotgun. I'm gonna show you how to disassemble it, reassemble it. It's gonna be easy. First thing you wanna do is make sure that the safety is on, all right? See that guy? Like that. Next, let's make sure there's nothing going on inside. Whole lot of nothing. In the mag tube. Whole lot of nothing. Good. Next, I like to have the firearms so the ejection port is facing down. Rest the buttstock onto something. And then, I like to use this. It's a 3 sixteenths of an inch roll punch. And we're going to knock out that trigger group pin. It's a perfect size for it. See that? Next, let's remove the mag cap. Barrel will slide right off. Then, we want to remove the trigger group. So the way you want to do that is you want to lift it up and forward. I never like to put my finger inside the trigger guard unless I'm going to fire. No intention of doing that right now. So here we go. Up and off. That's what that beauty looks like. Then, let's get the forearm with its slide arms, which are connected to the bolt. We're gonna slide that right off. Easiest way to do that, I've found, is by very slightly pushing down on the slide arms, and that bolt will slide right out, just like that. Okay, so now we, got, we wanna get this bolt off. So how do we do it? Easy. All you do is press down on the firing pin, hold it on the sides, and lift it up and off like this. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. The thing is you wanna make sure you keep your finger on this firing pin, because if you don't, this thing will zoom out of here like you wouldn't believe, and it will shoot somebody's eye out. Firing pin, firing pin spring. We're done, that's it, okay? To put it back together, firing pin goes into the firing pin spring. This is the part that might be a little tricky, so I'm gonna explain it so it's nice and clear. Do you see this gap right here? That's key, okay? Once we put this firing pin back into the bolt, that gap is going to fit into this circular structure right here, this little hole, all right? And once it is in there, we're going to fit, do you see this, this crescent-shaped piece? That groove, that crescent groove is going to fit right into this gap right here, which is inside this round circular portion. This is what it looks like. Get it in all the way, and you wanna push down with your index finger so your index finger is pretty much flush with the top of the bolt, okay? Now, can you see the gap? It's right, once you push it down, it rests right inside that circular portion right there. Okay, now we're gonna get that crescent, that crescent groove-like piece, 
into the into the round the circular opening and rest it on the gap and then just pull the body down a little bit I'll do it again you want to get that gap right in the middle so push down so your fingers flush with the top of the bolt and then you want to put that crescent shaped groove into the circular opening and rest it on the gap in the firing pin once you do that it should slide right down and there it is it's on okay now let's get the bolt back into the receiver like that the trigger group the thing about this is if for some reason the hammer is up you want to get it down okay that guy wants to be back down so let's get it back down until it clicks make sure that safety is on and we're gonna slide it right back in should be meeting right up in those corners and just go put it right back down it fits beautifully when we put the trigger group pin back in we want to do it this time from the side of the ejection port so back in there Good. Barrel, next. Easy. And then finally, mag cap. Now, just give me a second. Pick something off the floor. I always like to finish off by trying it out on a snap cap to make sure I hear that beautiful click. Safety off. Click. 